There's love in every bit of the mishmash. The Giselle Mishmash! Well, hello! This is the Canada flag. You see? It has red and white and it has a red leaf in the middle. This is called a maple leaf. Now I am waving the Canada flag because I live in a country called Canada. Do you know the name of the country where you live? Well, if you don't know, you can always ask a grown up. So today is Canada's birthday. Woohoo! <laughs> and I am honoring indigenous peoples of Canada by wearing an orange shirt. And to celebrate the beautiful culture of Indigenous peoples, I went to a restaurant where traditional Indigenous food is prepared, like wild rice. Oh, yummy! Look at that rice! And bannock. Bannock is a fried bread. And I picked up a slice of bannock. Oh, it is delicious. And this is a special kind of bannock because it has berries. Oh! Yummy! Let's try that bannock. Mm -hmm. And also to celebrate, we shall be making a dot painting. And all you need to make a dot painting is paint, a piece of paper, and some cotton swabs. Alrighty, let's have some fun making a dot painting. Oh, I think I'll just sneak one more bite of this delicious bannock. Mm. Let's get art smart by making a dot painting. Indigenous peoples make beautiful crafts and clothing with beads. And so that's the inspiration for my dot painting. Now, the first thing you need to do is design a picture. And so I will use my pencil and my piece of paper to create my design. I will draw a turtle. All right, so draw a big circle for the turtle's body and then a small circle on top of the big circle for the turtle's head and I will draw some triangles for the turtle's arms and legs. So here is a triangle over here for one arm and another triangle over here for another arm and then triangle here for the turtle's leg and another leg right there. There you go, there's my turtle. But you can design anything that you like. Now here's the fun part. I will use my cotton swabs uh, by dipping them into paint to create my dots for my dotted painting. So take some orange and then I just follow along my design by creating little dots with my paint. There's the turtle's head looking lovely. And I will use green for the turtle's body. So you go all the way around, just make dot after dot with your cotton swab. Look how pretty that looks. And it's fun too, you just keep Dabbing like this, dab, dab, dab. Here we go. Now, indigenous people's clothing have beads. And so these dots represent the beads on the uh, clothing or even crafts like this. There we go. Looking so Pretty! <laughs> How's that looking? Not bad! Alright, and then I shall use yellow for my little triangle arms and legs. You could even use a paintbrush if you like, but I find this fun to uh, paint with cotton swabs. Dot, 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 dot. Almost done. Wow, wee. And now I'll add some extra dots in the middle to make it a little bit more colorful. 
So this time I'll use some yellow. Could do any design that you like. There you go. I'm just freestyling it. I'm just going with the flow. I'm going to put some yellow dots, add some orange along the edge of the body like this. Oh, it's fun. Creating little dot designs and it just, whoops, just makes it a little bit extra colorful. There we go. I'll use the other end of my cotton swab dabber like that. Yeah, I'll use, you can use both sides of your cotton swab. Okay, so there's more yellow. Finish it off with some orange dots like so. Ta-da! And there you have my cute little turtle dot painting. <laughs> my dot painting is dry, so I shall display it right here on my mantelpiece. Looking good, turtle. Thank you for joining me in honoring Indigenous peoples here on Canada Day. <laughs> Grown-ups, if you like this video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and please tell a friend. Doing so helps me to grow my channel so I can create more educational kids videos for YouTube. I'll see you in more videos of the Giselle Mishmash.